All right, YouTube. This is a uh, another acquisition I got while I was in Montana. Uh, they actually had to order this one, and it just arrived a couple days ago. Uh, and it is a Weatherby Mark V uh, AccuMark, and it is the uh, the AccuMark because it's got the it's the stock. It's got the 54 degree bolt rotation it's not even 90 degrees so you can put a really big scope on there and you don't even have to worry about it uh, uh, the bolt handle coming into your scope it's got nine locking lugs it's got three here three here and three on the bottom and it's got a ported what they're calling a ported uh, bolt in case there is a a ruptured case the gases will come back safely and not injure the shooter it is a uh, 26, I believe, inch barrel, and it is fluted, uh, black on the inside, stainless steel on the outside, and it comes with the uh, AccuBrake, you can see there on the end. Sorry, my table's not long enough, so you have to go uh, past all the stuff on my benches there, but this is quite a rifle it's really nice I can't I've not yet shot this one I have a few friends I know that's the exact same gun they also elk hunt with us uh, for those of you who've watched my channel long enough you know that uh, I use a 338 Win Mag for elk and uh, I love that cartridge there's nothing wrong with it uh, the farthest I've hit an elk with it is 450 yards uh, one shot and dropped it so it's a very capable round obviously this one is chambered in 30-378 and what it is is they've taken the Weatherby 378 Magnum and they have necked it down to a 30 caliber bullet they also make the oh they make it in 378 they also make it in 338-378 and this one is the 3378 uh, it will push 180 grain 30 caliber bullet 3500 uh, feet per second so it's moving it's designed as a thousand yard gun it is for long range shooters I'm not necessarily gonna ever shoot it at a thousand yards I would love to be able to go to a range someday and test it but uh, just to give you a little comparison this is a 556 slash 223 this is a 7 millimeter 08 which is basically uh, it's a 308 neck down to 7 millimeter so you can see the size comparison there uh, this is a 7.62 by 54 R. The next one here is a sorry. This is an 8 millimeter Mauser, and I'm gonna try and stack all these up. I if I pull this back, I might be able to get them to stand. So 223, 7 millimeter 08, 7.62 by 54 R, 8 millimeter Mauser. This is a 270. This is a 30 odd six, and this is a 300 Win Mag. I don't have one loaded, but this is a 338 Win Mag case, and what this gun shoots is that. That is a 3378. I'm gonna take this off the tripod real quick to give you a better size comparison of. Uh, So 223, 7mm 08, 760 by 54 r 8mm Mauser, 270, 30 out 6, 300 Win Mag. That's a 338 Win Mag case. And that next to it is the 3378 Weatherby Magnum. Just as a comparison, that's it next to a 223. It is quite the round. So I just wanted to put that out there for comparisons let me put this back on the tripod and uh, just for optics because of Sandy I'm having some problems with shipping I ordered some parts and unfortunately some of them are coming from the East Coast and they're taking a little while through USPS and UPS but what it will be going on here is a loophole it's a VX3 uh, four and a half by 14 uh, by 50 millimeter long range with the uh, with the adjustable objective and I will mount it with uh, loophole 
uh, dual dovetail bases and 30 and it's a 30 millimeter tube with 30 millimeter dual dovetail rings um, just to give you in case you're look curious see if I'll get that in there but it's a VX3 4.5 14 15 or 50 millimeter long range and it does have the Boone and Crockett reticle so with this with my 338 Win mag I have the same optic and I zero for 200 and then I have a 3 and a 400 yard mark and it doesn't show it on this picture but down below there there's a tiny little mark and uh, that's for what I use for a 500 pin this one will actually zero at 3 because I'll only be a few inches high between 50 and no more than I think no more than 4 or 5 inches high between 50 and 300 meters or yards so that'll be exactly basically the same hold for all the way up to 300 and then I'll have a 4 or 5 and a little 600 yard tick mark but uh, that's the goal for it. Like I said, I'm waiting on the bases and the rings. Uh, the bases should be here hopefully tomorrow, being Monday, and then the rings will hopefully arrive by the end of the week. Um, not quite sure how that's going to go. I'm trying to contact the person who, who said they shipped it. It's stuck in U UPS, or sorry, the post office website saying that they've received it and that it'll be delivered, but it hasn't moved. And on the website, it hasn't moved in. Uh, three or four days so I don't know if it's stuck in a post office somewhere or if it's in transit and the post office website's not moving but anyway I just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick look at that I will be taking this range I'll make some videos of me shooting it uh, I am curious to shoot it without the muzzle brake because I mean I got fairly uh, fat hands I wonder if I can give a better comparison just to tell you how fat my hands are I wear a size uh, 13 wedding band and that thing doesn't have a lot of wiggle room in it so it's a fairly fairly fat cartridge and uh, see if you can get the see if the macro will get that it's not uh, pulling it up and the little flowers not popping up but it is a Weatherby there's the flower 3378 Weatherby mag and uh, I will be loading this. These, actually, these are uh, loaded cartridges now. It's 180 grain Barnes tip triple shock. Uh, to give you an idea of what it takes to shoot this gun, a box of 20 Weatherby uh, ammo costs anywhere between $140 and $160 plus tax uh, for 20. The brass, I was able to get 40 brass at per 20, 70 bucks. So, you can buy them factory for what is it about eight dollars a round, and I can reload them for about three and a quarter. And obviously, that price will go down the more I can load them. I should be able to get about anywhere between eight and twelve rounds, or to eight and twelve loads, depending on how hot I make it. Um, oh, for you reloaders, it does use a Federal 215, the hottest primer they make out there for large rifle magnums. Uh, 180 grain tip barns triple shock and 107 grains of reloader 25. So we'll see how uh, we'll see how she does as soon as I get the optics mounted.